those steps right there were supposed to be the very first thing coming off this truck. I hate chrome and I'm not a huge fan of steps. However, these have been on there for a year because they serve a lot of purpose. Now, I believe they've kept the seat from being rubbed on since I'm not sliding out. In addition, they've also kept the rock chips off of the side of the truck. As you can see, minimal, minimal if any. I mean, I see like two right there. So they serve a good purpose. Now chrome isn't the right color for me. So I came across these off of Amazon and these are pretty awesome because they have these little features right here, which was from our headlights. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna install these. I'm gonna take these ones off. So if you don't have factory running boards, the kit comes with all the hardware needed. I'm not gonna use this hardware because I'm gonna reuse my factory hardware, but here's how you're gonna wanna do it. You're gonna do bolt, lock washer, regular washer, just so you know, I know a lot of people get confused on that, but what we're gonna do is remove these and then we're gonna install these. Those are pretty sweet, huh? Those are seven inch wide, super cool. I like them. Nice little rugged finish, tubular style. All right, we are underneath right now. This is the front wheel right there. You can see where my brackets are bolted to. There's 13 millimeter right there and then there's one right in there. Now what you're gonna have is some plugs if you don't have steps, I mean, you're gonna have some plugs and you're just gonna have to remove these in order to get the uh, threaded holes shown there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking these off. There's four brackets total. You see where the bracket goes. Go ahead and take this one off. That was our slide off bolt. We'll start that there. Put that there, and I'll do that for all of the brackets. All right, from underneath, we're at the front bracket, once again, at the front wheel. So what I did was I tightened this lower one first. I pushed the bracket forward, tighten that, and then I tighten this one afterwards. We're gonna see if that works out, because we may have to do some adjusting. You just don't know. This is how it looks with the brackets on. Got all four, those are tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the steps and we're gonna put the hardware in the steps and then set that in place and we'll adjust. So you can go in sideways on the uh, center ones. Oh, that was an end one. So the end one, easy to slip in like that. But in the center ones, we're going to go in like this and then turn it. We're going to step a little bit, let it fall into place. Knock this one out of place, we could put that one back into place. That's going to allow these to slide and makes it adjustable. Here's the brackets. They just slide right in. That's it, so that makes it adjustable. Everything can move. Now, since I only have those set in place, there's no nuts installed, you can see underneath there. I'm going to adjust it. Now I can have it slid all the way back, or we could just slide it out like that. I'm not sure which I prefer as far as that goes. The further outward, the more it's going to block. I'm going to slide it more forward, though. Right about there. I think what I want to do is center it with the door here. Yeah, I think that's where I want it. And I do think I want it pulled outwards a little bit. And pull it out all the way. I think that's good. So then that'll help me with the rock trip rock chips We need it sticking out just enough so you can step in here Which I believe is ample And then right here as well, I think we're good right there So I think centering on the door is where I want it. I'm gonna put the nuts on tighten them down. There we go In case you are wondering here is how I have it installed. I have the bracket then flat washer, then lock washer, then nut. 
there's the driver's side completed right there. I did end up pushing it all the way in and I did center this with that line right there just for aesthetics. You can see there's enough step right there to step onto. Nice and sturdy. Those can come out another inch or inch and a half, but again, I kept them tucked in like that. So you can still see they stick out just enough. And I like this because if someone opens their door, hopefully it'll hit this before it hits my truck. Now let's get on to the other side. All right, so here's a rearward view of the step installed and what my factory ones looked like. You can see the factory ones stuck out quite a bit. And if I pull these ones out, it's gonna stick out just as much as that. So that's a style of what are you wanting? And that's why I like this adjustability here because I may wanna pull that out, but it's also kind of nice being tucked in there. So we'll find out uh, after a little bit of usage, I'm gonna go ahead and roll to this other side. I'll get an underside view in just a moment, but here is the backside looking down to see how straight they are. And now let's take a look at how much the brackets hang down. Not bad at all. Overall, I really like the look of these. Let's get these out in the sunlight. Overall fit and finish, I am uh, super happy with that. It definitely looks good. Changed the look of the truck for sure. Those steps that were chrome before and now black are definitely the way to go with this truck with the wheel combo that I have there. Installation was super easy. The overall looks definitely improved on the truck. I just, I can't believe how much it transformed the way that the truck looks just with those. Wish I had done them sooner. They do make a drop down version, which we're going to test out next. So stay tuned for that. For now, you can pick these up off of Amazon. I'll do the link down below. Definitely worth it.